That one. There we go. On that six cents cloud nine crankbait. It's a good fishing start. It's not a bad one for sure. It's really dark. Living in this grass. I think he's got a little parasite on him. A little bug. It didn't take long. We've heard other fishermen talk about how clear this water can be, and they were right. You just don't see this level of water clarity around DFW. Fish. Fish. <laughs> oh my god, that was not a freaking square bill. I was so confused, I was like, did I pick up grass? Holy dingo dingo, that's a change. Dude, freaking biting. Well, not what I was expecting. I mean, I was throwing the squirt bill around the, the rocks, but this thing felt like I had some, some grass on. So crazy. So, so crazy. All right, later, bro. Got a jumper. Well, that's fun. <laughs> There's one. Ah, oh. I hit the magic spot. <laughs> Went right under those limbs. Didn't even bite. Just started swimming. Boo! Saw his belly flash, and then he was gone. Tucking into this calmer water, I really hoped to come across the first few bed fish. And as you can see here, there was bass fanning an area to hunker down. But unfortunately, none of these bass wanted to play, so we changed sides and edged our way to a different section. As soon as we got to the back of this area, Tim and I found two largies that were locked down. It's key to hold a good position, that way you can see how the bass are reacting to your lure. Oh wait, who are you? I think I found a bigger fish. Not very big, but... Oh. Went straight, looked for it, and grabbed it. Got it. <laughs> I got it so quick. Could not believe I caught that one bed fishing. Got this one on bed. Not very big, 
and I'm a little muddy. But just as I was backing up the kayak to uh, try to bed fish this even smaller one, I just happened to look back and this is what I saw. Bed fish. All right, little buddy. And straight back you went. Yeah, we can try. Let me, uh, let me see if he likes this one. Oh yeah, he likes it. Oh yeah, he'll like it. He wants it so bad. He wants to kill it so hard, dude. <laughs> he bit it and I shook him off. Come on, ripples, help me out. Got him. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Tiny little buck bass, but. <laughs> catch him on. Caught him on a shaky head with uh, about a third of a Senko. Had a downsize because it's a smaller fish, right? Yep. Yeah, because I was throwing a pretty big crawl, and that's why I caught the one earlier just a second ago. Booyah. Let me get my head out of the way. So tiny. All right, buddy, you gonna go back in your hole? I'm sorry I made you so angry. Okay. Oh yeah, he's looking at it. He's right there on it. Got him. Nice. No, that's the big one. Oh, that is the big one. <laughs> yeah. Here, when we were taking lunch, I came over here to get some B-roll, and I saw the little male swim around. And I was like, man, that big female's hanging around in the deep. Toss the jig in there. That clear fork custom jig, no big deal. <laughs> Dang, that's the biggest fish of the day, dude. Oh, yeah. And of course, it's not on the kayak. It's all good. Bed fish and bed fish. Now, the male is still locked down on that bed, so I knew I still had a chance to catch him. We did not know he was going to be such a tough one. Why'd you let me down, Rio? Oh! Went right on it, though. Oh. Oh, I took a venture! <laughs> Come on. All right, so this is just getting crazy, man. It's just, Tim's over there getting the GoPro right now, and he's actually giving me another soft plastic, but this little guy, oh, oh, he just, he's evading me right now, but don't you worry. Don't, don't you worry, I'll get him. Got him. Yes, baby. <laughs> and that is how you do bed fishing. That's it. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. All right, little guy. You go. Oh, I was about to say, you can go and grab it, but he swam off. Well, that was a crazy lunch, but we still have half a day, so let's see what this lake has in store for us. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I got her. Uh, it's probably about 17 inches. Yes, I could barely see this fish. All I saw was her tail. Sure enough, I just had to be persistent. I got this girl. She's all spawned out. Thin belly. Yes. That's what's up. We got 17 and a half. All right, we're gonna let her go. Let her keep doing her thing. <laughs> we got double up bed fish, bro. Gene was actually working a bed fish at the same exact time that I was working that one. Man, this is awesome. Not only does this lake have super clear water, but watching these bed fish swim around your jig and start to get mad, so exciting. Yes. Oh, took one of my pinchers. Got him. Got him, got him. Yeah, buddy. Bed of fishing. That's pretty crazy, man. This lake. This lake, you can really, really see these fish. It's insane. There it is. Another bed fish. I don't believe it. The same thing. So this time in white. In the middle of some knot grass or something. It's just super crazy. But it's just the only bald spot right there. It's... He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. <laughs> Called it. So, so far fishing has been easy going and we thought it would be the same way all day. Just found fish on the bed, but it's pretty far over there. So I'm gonna attempt to do some long distance sight fishing. What Tim and I didn't know is we were in it for the long haul. A battle to catch these bed fish was on. <laughs> yeah, I worked on this fish for like 30 minutes. That was at least 30 minutes on that fish. Actually, never mind. GoPro clip says 19 minutes, so that's more accurate. Another Clear Fork Custom Jigs bed fish. That took a while, but man, that's a good fish. I can dig it. Let's let her get back to doing her thing. All right. Yes. I was really excited for Tim winning his battle, but a thought crossed my mind. Am I going to have the same luck, or is this just going to be nearly an hour long defeat?
a big fish. I'm so glad you were on. I've been working on this fish for over half an hour. He was so mad. Dude, I've been working on it longer than you were. Oh, I didn't think it was. It was, it was just the bigger shadow compared to the small one. They had just been working. I was like, man, I don't even know if I should even continue working. But then you, you saying that you caught yours uh, after how many minutes? 19. Like 19 minutes. I was like, no, nah, I gotta do this. Oh my God. What'd you get? I slammed it. Six pounds? Five and three quarters, dude. Woo -hoo! 575. Let's see that fish. Look at that. Hey. That's almost a six pounder. I didn't know that's what I was doing. You've been looking for bed fish all day long, dude. Paid off. So this is officially breaking my PEP while dead fishing. This is legit. Well, no, no joke. This is what I call a Wheeler Branch stud. That's a dead gum hydrilla gorilla. Stretch out my arm. Sleep. All right, PB bed fishing. That's how it gets done. Talk about a moment that's hard to beat. We finished the day off strong and we're excited to recount our fish catches over some food. This lake made an impression and we're excited to come back. Thanks for watching everyone. Go drop a comment down below with your personal best bed fish or any other suggestions where we should fish next. And as always guys, be sure to like and subscribe for more Real Gills adventures. Gene and Tim's Hobie Kayaks brought to you by Mariner Sales.